Now let's discuss 26th question asked by UPSC in the prelims 2017 exam is that broad based trade and investment agreement is BTIA is sometimes seen in the news in the context of negotiations held between India and which of the following organization or nation. This question is very very simple and straightforward question who has missed this question should feel bad about it because the term BTIA is coming in the news often and most of the institutes thought this BTIA we have we have already provided so many videos on this BTIA so it is a negotiation between India and European Union India and European Union both were started negotiations on BTIA on from 2007 onwards, from 2007 onwards, the negotiations are going on. Still, India and European Union are unable to conclude the broad-based trade and investment agreement because of various reasons. Some three to four issues are the problematic areas. First, tariff on the wines and sprit. European Union demands India should reduce the or lower the tariffs for wine and sprit. As all we know, European Union nations are famous for producing the wines and sprit. If India imposes high tariff means the cost of the wine will increase and sales will come down in India. If India lowers the tariff significantly on the wine and sprit, the cost of production and will come down and sales will increase. So it will benefit the European Union nations. It is one of the key demand by the European Union, but domestic industries are lobbying against this. So, government is unable to decide on it. Second key issue is that uh, European Union asks for the stringent intellectual property right regime, stringent IPR regime, but our IPR regime is already in compliance with the TRIPS agreement. TRIPS stands for Trade Related Intellectual Property Rights Regime. So, TRIPS comes under World Trade Organization. So, World Trade Organization has given some intellectual property rights instructions. India is fully co compliant with the WTO IPR regime. So, there is no need to go for the individual countries IPR regime. So, European Union asking for more stringent IPR regime. But India is not ready for that. It is a second contentious issue between India and European Union. Third issue is India is asking for data security status. For data security status from European Union. If India receives data security status means the knowledge outsourcing jobs to India will increase. Knowledge outsourcing jobs high school jobs will increase to India. Fourth issue is in the services agreement. India specifically wants a, a class that allows great, greater flexibility in the movement of skilled persons without restrictions. At present in the European Union, the 28 nations does not have a common working visa. So they do not have a common working visa. So, if any highly skilled Indian goes to the France means he has to get another visa to travel to Germany for working. So, if Europe, European Union has common working visa means for one, for getting one country to France, then he can travel to other country without working visa. He can work in the other branch of the same company without getting another visa. It is another demand by India. So, let's see what happens in the BTIA.